It is good that we come together in this blessing of this place because this place has a rich history and it is by um, the sharing of that history, the mana'o, by Kehau and all of the people who have gathered here to make this place what it is today. We come to offer thanks not only to the gods of our kupuna but also to the gods of the present day and the days to come. So we welcome all our people's gods together in this place of this blessing. The blessing is also a time in which we ask for forgiveness, we ask for 
uh, love and aloha to dwell in this place and we ask for only goodness of spirit to enter the thresholds of this door. In ancient times as our people would bless their own home, they would come to this point of the blessing and that blessing was called Oki Kapiku Kahale or the severing of the umbilical cord of the house. And the main part of the house, the hale, was left undone. And it was usually the main entranceway of that hale. The post would stick out somewhere. And the priest would tie some kind of vine. Today we have the mailele to represent that vine. And we tie from the top of the door post and we let it hang down this way. This is the more traditional way of our blessing of our ancient peoples. Because they felt that this represents the umbilical cord of the house. And so all power comes from above and flow into our world and into this place. The other way we use uh, the old, you know, more today's style, they put the mailele across the door. That's Haole style. That represents the ribbon cutting ceremony. But this is more traditional in a sense. After the blessing is over, we will oki the mailele. Therefore severing, the opening the puka of this place, the doorway of this place. But I also, also like to think that as we do the blessing, when we break the mailele, it releases the fragrance of the maile into this place. And one of the things that I learned from my grandfather, that after the blessing was done, and the mailele laid by the doorway, and one was taken indoors, so that the maile, the blessing, the fragrance of that maile would add the blessings and the smell of this place. And when it was done, they would wrap up the mailele and put it in the pu'olu, in the tili, and they would put it in a corner or somewhere in the, in the closet of this place. And that would be the pico, the pico of this <coughs> blessing. And it would stay here for as long as the people would make that place their home. That was called Oki Kapiku Kahale. The other part of the blessing we use is more of a pikai, and that's the use of water and salt, and of course we use the tea leaf now to use as a sprinkling for the blessing of this place. But I always like to think that in my own way, I'm being a Christian minister, that for me, these are just the symbols that help us to better understand our own culture and our own uh, individual faith. But they are just mailele, and they are just water and salt, and the tea leaf. But I believe the real blessing is in you, Kehau, and upon those who will come into this place. It is to you that we call upon God's presence, and the kupuna, and everyone else to be upon you. For He gave you knowledge, and, you, and gave you the knowledge not only for yourself, but to share with other people. And so it is to you that we call upon God's blessings upon this place. And also upon all the artifacts and things that you lay before us. These are rich history of our people in its past. Tell everyone the story of these. So we can be proud of it. And others can learn about it and be proud too. And so it's to you that we offer the blessing. Remember the three Hawaiian words that I often use. First of all, the word of aloha. For it is the sharing of our innermost spirit with other people in the high the breath that we give. Remember too that as people come here, they will be like family to you. They'll be the ohana. And you have some ohana here that already help you. And so they too will be a part of that branch, that, that, uh, that oha for this place. And ho'oponopono is the most important part. Always must have that. Other than that, there is no unity and no harmony in the place. Remember to always keep these three words close to your heart. Let us pray. Iko mako mako alu hilo kulani ki mahalo ni mako ya oye ki a ko launa no ki a ko mai kai iki a oye hana ma kawa e heritage center. We gather together, O God, asking your blessings now to be upon us as we gather in your name and many other names to to ask your blessings upon this heritage center. We thank you, O Lord, for the gift of knowledge and vision for the gift of love and of aloha that you have bestowed upon this thy servant. And we pray that your spirit will dwell with her as she shares it with others. And for all the other folks who have come here to be a part of her ohana in the sharing of the knowledge of our people and its rich history. We pray as we bless this place of business that it not only be a business but a place of sharing. And we pray, O oh God, that your spirit will dwell in this place. Every corner, every from what is below and what is above and every um, facet of this place that you will be there and present. 
We pray to O Lord that only goodness, love, and mercy may dwell in this place. No harm may fall upon anyone in this place. That you will only add your good spirit and your good love in this place. We bless this smiley lay that it be a symbol for us of our connection to you and to many others who have come into our hearts. And that just as it takes several miley to make one strand, so are our lives bound together with each other. Bless this water that it may be a sign of cleansing to new life and new breath for this place. And bless the salt that it be a symbol preserving your good spirit in all that we do and share here in this place. Use this tea leaf, O Lord, as an instrument of reminding us that we are connected to the land as well as to the people, that we are together, the Oha, the one that gives life and gives breath to the, this family. To the glory of your name we pray. And now together we add thy blessings upon this space. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. I want to call forward some people who have been very um, instrumental in getting this project off the ground. Um, is Wade, I know Wade is here. Wade Lord, he's the project director of the Kauai Village. Wade, can you come forward? Oh, there is Wade. Come. Um, Lynn and Bobo Ham Young. John Pia and John Kaohila Oli'i. Right here. And there are many, many others, um, many family members, many friends. Um, my hula sisters, our associates, good friends like all of you who have come to bring life into this place. I thank you all from the bottom of my heart. And, um, and I want uh, to thank you, Wade, first of all, for um, your encouragement and your support in making this uh, Heritage Center a reality. And we are just so happy to be able to share all of these wonderful things about our culture with all of you and, and all of those who will come uh, from this day forward. So, mahalo nui loa. Can you assign us to places? Sure. Everybody can take a hold. Okay. Come. Okay. Come. Everybody grab hold. Come, okay. Mike. Okay. Come. Come on this side too. Come over here, Benny. Yeah. Okay. Come okay. this way so you can you. turn. We got the camera. Yeah. The pitch yeah. is right there. Is you the one you? Okay. I hold up here. Yeah. Okay. You ready? Okay. okay. We're gonna go one, two. Kahi elua ekolu. We're gonna Okay. Okay. Kahi elua ekolu. Ah. Ah. Iruna babarani o magunaro anu mearani ta ho marune. Piari i ta ho nua ura ura. Tabu tabu a ke tu motu ho i atura ho i dai ti ho i atuna ari. Mai ba u mai no te tu a motu. Ke tu a motu ra na he u te atua. Te atua kahiki 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 na. Te atua kahiki 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 na. Mawa tu ta piko, ta piko te ari iye. Welcome. My, 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 my. Interesting writing, huh? <laughs> 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 